Okay, hi everyone. Um, I was talking about um, all of my Uber drivers are doing a good and excellent job. So um, they have been a wonderful driver, good driver, and a safe driver. So I am very happy with Uber, and I stick with Uber. But um, I don't know how to ride Lyft, but. Uh, other wrong, strange driver, I am very unhappy with those drivers and they assaulted me. They put a knife to my throat and they pulled a gun on me. So they, uh, the bad driver, I don't like bad driver. I like good people, good men and good drivers and respectful and I prefer having drivers who speak good English. I. It's hard for me to um, relate or communicate and socialize with drivers that don't speak English at all. So I prefer good drivers who um, speaks very good English and don't give me a hard time. As long as get me to wherever I need to go to, every time I need an Uber, is I have to, places to go, people to meet, and things to do, or I have... To go to grocery market or something um, and I'm carrying a lot of heavy stuff or whatever a lot of heavy grocery or something then I I, I would uber otherwise um, I don't want to bother uber and if it's on a day where it's like a Saturday or Sunday and I miss the last bus or whatever I would uber and um, or I'm stuck out in the no man's land at the bus stop far away from home, then I would need, need an Uber. Otherwise, I wouldn't need an Uber. And I, I do apologize for the inconvenience with everyone. And this is to the white gentleman in Houston, Texas, that one day back in 1999 or something. He called me by the name Kelly. Yes, that's me, but in the middle of the process, I was trying to get my name changed. And yes, I am Kelly. That Kelly you're looking for. And I had a lot of name change from Kelly to Summer. I also go by Summer, too. And I just didn't want to Van Tran and Hattie Lay and nobody by the Tran last name and their in-laws to find out who I am, where I am. I disguise myself, but I have nothing to do with prostitution or um, terrorist or criminal activity. I just rather work with a different name and I don't want those bullies to come and bother me, stalking me, and troublemaking to me because they was attempting to murder me and I don't like stalkers following me around, raping me, touching me inappropriately in my private areas and intruders cause, and hillbillies and, and kunas. I don't like them following me around, stalking me. So, they're in that case, weirdos. And I don't like to be in the eyes of public people. So I'm not used to being around public people. And I'm not used to being around wrong groups and crowds. And I'm not used to being around crazy people, mentally ill people. So I just work, go to work, go to school, and go home. That's my same routine every day. I'm out of public eyes. So... I don't know what goes on out on the streets. I don't know what goes on anywhere because I'm like a home girl. And even if I'm in my motel room, but I'm always indoors, I don't like to go outdoors too much. Once in a while, I'll go get some fresh air, go to the mall, relax my mind, or go out to eat, you know, at my favorite restaurant. So. I, I am very vulnerable to crazy nutcases and stalkers and intruders. Like, no, I don't 
date them. I don't want to date them, and I want nothing to have to do with them, and I don't consider them as my date or boyfriend or fiance or groom or husband because they're not my cup of tea because they're ugly, they're stupid, they're homeless, they're poor, they're lazy, they're, they're pesty. They're not my type. They're yucky people. I don't want no sexual activities with them. I don't want nothing to do with peasants and public and no class people. And don't touch me. Take your damn hands off me, you damn peasants. And you damn public people. And you damn fucking hillbillies. And coon ass. All of you ugly retards go away. Go fuck off somewhere. Do not bug me. Do not bother me. Do not follow me around. Do not call me and do not text me and do not stalk me sexually. And no, you're not my husband. Or dates or boyfriend or fiance or groom or baby's daddies. 